Hey YouTube, <clears throat> Squidfisher99 here to say hello on a beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Uh, parked as usual at the beach. Hmm. And for housekeeping, I am enjoying some Two Friends Celtic Mists <coughs> uh, by Cornell and Deal. This stuff is amazing. Tastes awesome. I'm smoking it in my freehand Brebia. I don't know if you can see that too well, but the stem is very interesting, intricate. Um, I like this pipe a lot. It's kind of a mouthful to hold in your teeth, but it just holds in the hand very well. That's one of my favorites. Uh, I belong to my dad. He was a big pipe smoker. And then he quit smoking uh, not very long ago, a couple of years ago, and he gave me all of his pipes and his cigar humidors and everything else. So I've kind of been adding to that with my uh, my trips on to eBay and checking out estate pipes. And I've got quite a few. So I've built the collection up quite a bit. Um, today, actually, I thought I would talk about a different subject. I did talk about commercial fishing in one of my last videos. Um, I was going through some boxes and I found some old fishing lures for my salmon fishing, commercial salmon fishing, that I'd share them with you. Uh, they caught a lot of fish over the time. This is what's called a cut plug. Uh, big time salmon lures. When you're fishing salmon with a regular herring, you cut the head at an angle and uh, thread the, the hook through the whole body of the fish and it comes out looking similar to what this lure looks like. Um, I don't know if you can see that too well, but it's kind of a... shiny <laughs> herring plug shaped lure um, caught quite a few fish on this I use it down the lead down where the lead is in the bottom of my line um, does pretty well especially on cloudy days like today let's see what else I got here this uh, Canadian salmon spoon by Silver Horde this does phenomenal um, like I said, on a cloudy day like today, this would be great. Dark water. This has a flash to it that you just can't beat. I put a new hook on it since then, but um, yeah, this this is a go-to or all-around all go-to spoon for catching salmon. Another one here. Needlefish spoon. Lure Jensen, who made these, changed the name. Um, they're actually uh, another company. Bought Lure Jensen and shipped everything to China, so they're making them out of China now. The metal's a lot thinner, not as good a quality. Um, but yeah, these are the needlefish spoons. They call them the flutter spoon now. They're the needlefish. These do really well on a sunny day. I've had good luck with them on a sunny day. So they, nice lure. And this is a regular atomic plug. Use a new hook. It looks kind of bent. And rusty from use, but you can see this. This goes to the water at kind of an angle like that and attracts the salmon. As you can see, I don't know if you can, maybe it'll focus in on that. Um, it's got a lot of hooked teeth marks. This has caught a lot of fish. This is a go-to one here. This one, they all these have numbers. These plugs have numbers. This is the 727 plug. Also called the airline plug for obvious reasons. Um, they don't make the colors like this in these anymore, so this is an older one. Uh, the new ones don't work as well as the colors just aren't the same. All of these companies changed colors when they, um, the government made them had a big lead thing and paint um, in the 90s for automotive paint and fishing lure paint and that kind of stuff. And they, they had to change their formulas. A lot of the colors changed. They're just not the same. I caught a lot of fish. Every five fish I catch, I put a hash mark on the front. And as you can probably see there, it's covered in hash marks. So this caught a lot of fish. It's a go-to plug for me. I would put this down um, probably second or third spot up on my, my leader. Uh, salmon fishing, we run a lot of big, long stainless steel wire with uh, it's what they call stops about every um, three fathoms or um, 18 feet. There's a stop. And I would run this one about the third stop up and so it gets a little bit of light on it and it seems to always do well it's a good producer spoons and things I run on the very bottom 
Uh, I didn't bring one, but there's something called a flasher and a hoochie. The flasher or dodger uh, rotates in the water and it will spin around. The dodger will go side to side like a spoon, but bigger. And you put uh, what's called a hoochie or a plastic rubber uh, squid skirt on it. Uh, if you're getting any of this. Um, the flasher or, or dodger will whip that around and the salmon go crazy over it. So that's my explanation of uh, salmon fishing. I just found this stuff and I thought I'd share it. Um, salmon fishing this year has not been very good. So I'm hoping it picks up before it ends because I can use the money. The price is really high for salmon right now. Unfortunately the fish just aren't there. Alright, well, I'm going to enjoy this pipe, and uh, I guess I'll talk to you later. Bye.